It is 6 o'clock. We welcome you into the CBS 42 Morning News. I'm Mark Franklin. We're tra tracking several stories that are breaking overnight, including the execution death of death row inmate Tommy Arthur. He died early this morning after the U.S. Supreme Court lifted a stay on his execution. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingo was a witness for the execution and has this report. With literally an hour to go until midnight, the U.S. Supreme Court denied a request to stay from execution for Tommy Arthur, which would have been his eighth. So at 12.15 this morning, the Houdini of death row took his last breath. At 6 o'clock Thursday, Tommy Arthur was set to be put to death. But a temporary stay was handed down by the U.S. Supreme Court with 20 minutes to spare. We do not know how long this uh, process will, will take place or when the stay may be um, lifted. After six hours of waiting, the Supreme Court denied Arthur's request. Thomas Arthur was executed for the 1982 capital murder of Troy Wicker. Before his execution, the inmate made the following statement. Mr. Arthur said goodbye to his children and said, I'm sorry I failed you as a father. I love you more than anything on earth. Well, the experience itself was very surreal. It, there's no words to really describe it. I sat next to Arthur's daughter, Sherry, in the execution chamber, and at 11.45 Thursday, just 15 minutes before the death warrant expired, the lethal injection began. It was just a matter of waiting and watching his breathing get shallower and shallower. Uh, and he had first had clenched his hands, but by the time that was through, he had... Uh, his hands were open palm. During his final goodbyes, he never spoke a word or turned an eye towards the Wicker family. But after the execution, his daughter did. I'd like to express my deepest sympathy for the family of Troy Wicker, and I, I hope what transpired this evening will bring them some closure and a sense of peace. In Atmore, Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.